Hello, it is Tony's Tiny's. Um, first, I have a little announcement. Um, uh, I don't give credit to people during my videos because they're already long enough. So, um, I try to give credit to them in my uh, description of the videos. And I actually forgot to on my last one um, about the how to make fried eggs. So, um, that one, Sugar Charm Shop. One of the best polymer artists on YouTube um, helped me with that one um, through tutorials. So, anyway, done with that announcement. So, today's video is about um, like what tools I use and what their uses are. So, I'm first going to start with my little shape cutters. So, first I have my little giant, or actually giant circle cutter. This one is about that big. Sorry about the brown marks right there. I was just messing around with toothpick. Um, I use for making crepes. Uh, as there was in another video. And cakes. Uh, I use stack layer upon layer of uh, clay and then and cut it out. So that's one. And then here is my little uh, flour uh, cutter. This one I use for cookies and also if I want to make a heart really fast. If you cover up those two petals, or cut them off, it makes an oblongish heart, and then I just fix it a little bit. And actually, when you cut it out, it doesn't look as bad. Then I have my small little circle cutter. Um, this one I use, uh, it's kind of complicated, but, um, so on my pasta machine, I roll out on a number six or seven, and then I cut the circle out, and then I mush it back up to a ball and make a cookie out of it, and it makes them all the same size, and it looks really cool. And then my last cutter is a teeny tiny tiny little circle cutter. It's smaller than a whole bunch. Look how tiny it is. It's tiny. So this one I use for um, cookies too if I want to make smaller ones. And that's those are my cutters. My next one is a paintbrush. Paintbrushes are super handy because they not only can like pastel, um, they also have a textured back. Uh, most paintbrushes do. Yeah, clay. Um, as you can kind of see, and I use that to texture stuff, and I actually made my crepes like that. See, yeah. Um, then I have various uh, point ball tools. These, um, I actually don't have the other ones. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. This is the smallest one, maybe tiny. There's my kitty. Um, this is the second smallest one, and then there's other ones, um, up the line. Those are my point ball tools. And then I have this really, really, really handy tool. I don't know what it, I don't remember what it's called, but, um, I got it at Michael's. I'm sure a lot of places have Michael's. Um, really handy. Uh, next to the clay sculpting tools and the clay. So pretty much, um, I showed this in my other video of how to make fried eggs. Um, this is a giant, the biggest point ball tool, but look, you can pull it out magnetically, and then there's a ton of other tips. Like, uh, this one is like a pointy rubber tip. Um, I, in my other video I said it was a sharp, but it's actually not. I meant to say pointy. And you can use that to make like a hole or texture, and it's magnetically in there. And then I have this, uh, wedge tip, where'd it go, there, wedge tip, and this one I can use for like scraping, flattening out, pulling, pushing, and then I have these two which are in covers because they are very sharp, Ugh. I have this needle which is like a metal toothpick, it's pretty awesome because I love toothpicks, and then this exacto knife, it's very sharp so I keep that in there, so those things are extremely handy. Um, then I have, I actually, um, I have my TLS. I count this as a tool because you can use it as glue if you want to glue something, and it's really helpful, and it makes pretty sauces and frosting. So I have that, and then my glaze. Um, I love this glaze because it's super glossy, and a lot of things in real life are super glossy, um, like pizza. It's super glossy. Anyway, this stuff is really helpful. Um... And then I have my pastelis. I call them pastelis. 
for pastels. I have a ton, but they don't fit, so I have tons. Um, those you use for, like, um, like shading and uh, making stuff look like they're cooked. Oh, and the glaze is obviously used for glazing, making stuff look shiny. And I have my pasta machine. Obviously, I can't bring a giant pasta machine over here, um, because I'm not in the same room as it. But, uh, that is extremely helpful to get all the clay even, so if you need a really, like, um, like, orderly kind of same thickness, same everything. Like, if you're making fondant for a cake, that's super helpful. And then lastly, I have my toothpick. This has to be my favorite of them all. Ooh, makes a little line. Um, uh, you guys don't know this, but before I started, um, YouTube, I... All I ever used was a toothpick in my hands, slash fingers, because fingers are on hands. That's all I used, and then I just got tools to use in tutorials, and then I kind of started using them. But um, I actually still only use a toothpick, gen like normally, most of the time when I'm making food still. But in tutorials, I used uh, tools to make it more like clear. That's a little frosting. That's what I was making the dots with. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, comment if you have any questions. Um, bye.